Hi, welcome to today's video. This is going to be a brief introduction to concentration equals number of moles over volumes, or as I've called it in the title, a quick intro to titration calculations. Now, if you've gone through and you've had a look at the videos around uh, an introduction to um, stoichiometry and molar calculations, we would've used number of moles is mass over molar mass, okay? We've got another triangle here this time. So this time we're dealing with um, solution stoichiometry. So rather than having solids, which you use with mass and molar mass, now we're looking at um, solutions, which have a volume and have a concentration. So with this triangle here, uh, it's got three parts in it. So N, is number of moles and they have the units MOL. So you can calculate number of moles using that mass over molar mass like we looked at initially with stoichiometry calculations. C is concentration and the units for that are moles per litre. Sometimes you'll see it written as moles L minus one, or you might just see it written as big M, okay? All three of those are the same thing, they're the same units, they're just written different ways. Big V, capital V, is the volume. And because our concentration is in moles per litre, the volume must be in litre. Now, <clears throat> quite often when we're doing titrations, all right, or we're doing any sort of chemistry, we don't operate on big litre scales generally, so you're gonna have to remember to convert. Okay, so you've got to remember that to go from liters, um, sorry, from milliliters to liters, okay, you're going to need to divide by a thousand. Because right? it's a thousand milliliters in a liter, okay? So you've got to make sure you do that calculation. So if you're doing a titration and you've got a titer reading of 22.6 milliliters, okay, then you need to divide that by a thousand to get into liters before you do any calculations. All right, so let's jump in and I'll show you a couple of quick calculations of how you use this triangle. I'll show you how we can calculate number of moles, how we can calculate concentration, how we can calculate volume given information. All right, so let's say you had a solution of sodium hydroxide and you had a big two liter container. All right, so we've got two liters of it and let's say we had to dissolve up, we had 10 grams. So we've weighed out 10 grams of our sodium hydroxide we want to dissolve that up in our big two litre volumetric flask. We want to know what the concentration is going to be. All right, so using the um, triangle over here, concentration is going to equal number of moles over volume, so N over V. So you just need to make sure you learn this triangle, make sure you know how to use it. Now, if we're looking at this, we need to know number of moles. We know our volume, it's two litres. We don't need to do a conversion there, so that's fairly straightforward, but we need to know number of moles. So number of moles is mass over molar mass. So it's 10 over the molar mass of sodium hydroxide, which is doing by adding up the 22.99 atomic mass of sodium plus 15.99 for oxygen plus 1.008 for hydrogen. So adding all of those up together and you get a molar mass of 39.997, okay? So if you do that calculation, you'll get the number of moles, okay? which is about uh, 0.25, I think it is, pretty close. So now we can do our calculation for concentration. Concentration equals number of moles, which is 0.25, over our volume, which is two. Now, if you're doing these calculations like this in a test or an exam, what I suggest is that you don't round off because this is not exactly 0.25, so don't round off on your calculator. I'd just do 10 divided by 39.997 to get this first value, and then I'd divide it by two. And if you do that, you get a value of 0.125, and you must remember your units, this is concentration, so it's in moles per litre. So there's our answer there. So it's fairly straightforward to calculate concentration. You just need to work out number of moles if it's not given to you already, and you need to divide it by volume. All right, next one I'm gonna show you is how we calculate volume. All right, so let's say we had this time a solution of sodium carbonate, Na2CO3. Let's say we had 3.5 grams of it, okay? And we wanna make a concentration of 1.5 moles per liter. So we might be in the lab, we know that we need to get a concentration, we wanna get as much as we can of a concentration of 1.5 moles per liter, but we've only got 3.5 grams, so how? Um, so how much can we actually make? So using our triangle again over here, volume this time is going to equal number of moles over concentration, so N over C. 
So we know concentration is 1.5, but again, we need to get number of moles using number of moles equals mass over molar mass. So mass over molar mass, you're gonna do 3.5 over the molar mass of sodium carbonate, which is 105.987. And we're gonna get a value of 0 0.033 moles. Now, just by the way, in case you're wondering, I'm not a mathematical genius. I just have all my answers over on the side there. It's why I keep glancing sideways. But thank you if you thought I was that smart. All right, so we use our equation now. Volume equals number of moles, so 0 0.033 over our concentration from up here, which was 1.5. And we know we're gonna be able to get 0 0.022 liters. Okay, that doesn't make much sense really, unless you wanna look at something that's just probably a bit more meaningful. So let's convert it into milliliters, times it by a thousand, which means we're gonna be able to do 22.01 milliliters. Now again, I didn't round that off on my calculator, that's why I'm able to go to 0 0.01 this time. So to calculate volume, you need to know number of moles and concentration. You might need to use mass over molar mass to get your number of moles, but again, it's very, very straightforward. So final one I'm gonna show you, we've looked at um, concentration, we've looked at volume, I'm gonna show you how we get number of moles, which we might need sometimes when we're going into the final step of titration calculations, which is a different video. It's called ti um, titration calculations one and two, which you can find on my channel if you want. But I'll just quickly show you how you use concentration volume to get number of moles. So <clears throat> let's have a look. And this, as I said, this is probably the most vital step now if we're actually looking at full titration calculations, and that's calculating number of moles. So if we had, uh, 20 mils of sulfuric acid, which has a concentration of 0 0.215 moles per liter. So we might be using this, for example, as a um, standard solution, for example, and we might be doing a titration with it to work out a, con a concentration of something like sodium hydroxide. So we need to know how many moles we've actually added in to the reaction. So again, using our triangle, number of moles equals this time they're next to each other, so it's C times V, all right? So we know the concentration, it's 0.215, we know the volume, that's 20 mils. The key thing that a lot of people rush into is they just do the calculation and they forget that you've got to convert that into liters. So what you've got to do is you've got to divide it by a thousand to get 0 0.02, okay, liters. Then you can do your calculations. If you don't do that conversion, you're gonna be out by a factor of a thousand. So number of moles equals concentration, which is 0 0.215 times by number of moles, which is 0 0.02. And again, you end up with a value of 0 0.0043 moles, or because we like to use scientific notation in chemistry, we would convert that into 4.3 by 10 to the negative one, two, three, negative three moles per liter. I'm hoping that pen isn't too squeaky for you. If it is, I do apologize. All right, so this is how you use the triangle to calculate number of moles. So if you can do those calculations, if you can calculate number of moles, concentration or volume, just following this initially to begin with, then when we actually get into titrations and you're doing calculations, you'll be much better placed. All right, hope this has been um, helpful for you. As always, if you've got any questions, just ask. Thanks guys.